Hey everybody, Shannon here. Got home just a few minutes ago and uh, had a wonderful day. Hope all you guys did too. It was a good long day of work. Used some equipment and machinery at work. It was pretty cool. Uh, got this nickel box here. I was thinking about doing the quarters tonight, but quarters just takes too long. Nickels is much easier to to go through because you can see the good stuff a lot easier than you can with quarters. So in my experience anyways. So we're gonna go ahead and get into these rolls and see what we got going on. Stick with me. Hey guys, so I'm bringing you in because I was just about to dump this when I realized the one on the top here is a little bit interesting. Let's see if my camera will focus on it. How interesting is that? That's a huge cud. That's pretty neat. 1989 Philadelphia that's really the first find of the day night I should say I guess I missed it because it kind of just blended in and then I saw it at a different angle and I was like whoa yeah that's pretty neat that's going in the book cool I'll bring you back when I find something else very next roll. This is the third roll of the box. And I've got a couple of goodies in here. We see this one right here off the bat is a 1954. A little bit slick, but that's okay. Slick nickel. Philadelphia. 54 Philadelphia. Put that in the collection. And right next to it, we had a D mint mark on the reverse. So, let's see what she is. She's really slick, too. 53. All right, right next to each other. 54 and 53. Denver and Philadelphia. Philadelphia and Denver. Let's see what's this. 70 D. I don't see anything else in this roll. So I'll bring you back when I find something else. Cool. Put off to a good start. Three rolls in. Hey guys, I'm bringing you back because I'm on the next roll, roll number four. And we've got a sweet looking edge right there. It looks pretty good. Now, I've had a lot of edges like this where it's like a 2007, you know, nothing special, just spent some time in a puddle or something. But, um, I got a good feeling about this one. Could be a silver. We shall see. Nah, it's nothing special. Just a 95. Spent some time in a puddle. Alright, I'll bring it back when I find something good. Very next roll, guys. Roll number five. And we've got a 1957. Philly. Cool. 50s are adding up. None from the 40s, none from the 30s yet, but hey, we're heading in the right direction early. So let's see if we can pull a buffalo or a war nickel out of here. That would be amazing, like the last box. It'd be really cool. All right, there's another good looking edge right there. And I'm hoping against hope that it's something good. It's got a little bit of that greenish patina looking side to it. So we're going to pull it out live and see what happens. Yeah. Just a 2000p. Little pond scummy. A little bit green. And I'll bring you back when I find something good. Okay, we've got one here that's got a D mint mark on the back, and I've had a few 64s, so we'll see if it's a 64. Ooh, 59. All right. 59D. Rock onward. It's a fourth 50s nickel of the box, and the hunt continues. Okay, we've got an older looking one here, and I already saw the first three digits of the date. It's a 194. Oh, 49. I was hoping that was going to be a silver. It kind of had that look to it for a second. 1949, though. We'll take it. 
1949D. All right. Cool. That's fantastic. First from the 40s in the box. And we'll come bring you back when I find anything else. I almost missed it. Because they look just like every other one. So I think that's my third 2009 ever. 2009. It's in pretty decent shape, too. It looks like Jefferson is crying. <laughs> Got a little spot under his eye. Good shape. 09. Fantastic. Put it in the collection. Bring it back. Okay, we have some interesting things going on <clears throat> right here. Now, I saw this one from the edge because it was rusty colored. And I was like, ooh, that's not a good looking nickel there. That is a wicked rusty nickel. I don't know where that spent time, but it was definitely in some kind of moist, not so pleasant place. Probably a parking lot, too. Looks like it's been spending time in the parking lot for sure. But there's a couple of other ones in here that uh, look a little suspicious. Look at this guy right here. Oh. He's just a 93. And then we go up a little bit further, and we got one that kind of looks the same. And it's a 74. And then, oh, nothing. 99. Ooh, a 63. Yeah. Yay. All right, I'll bring you back when I find something good. Okay, we're on roll number 14. And we got some interesting edges here. So we're going to take a look at what they are. Live. Got this dark edge right here. Nope, oh, that's a newbie. 2014. And what have we got here? Oh, psh, just in 1985. <laughs> what else have we got going on in here? Just some crud, man. Yeah, 1990. Wow. Coins in bad shape. I'll bring it back when I find something good. Okay, same roll that all those credit coins were in. All those ones that looked old and could have been possibly silver. But uh, I flipped this one over and it is actually something good. That is a 1939. In pretty decent shape. Not bad for an 81 year old coin. It didn't have a terrible edge on it. Wow. 1939 Philadelphia. First pre-40s of the box. And we'll see what else we got in here. 64. Bison, bison burger. <laughs> Ooh, have you ever had bison burger? It's really good. I'm a meat eater, big time. Doesn't look like much else in this roll. Nope, nothing else. Alright, I'll bring it back when I find something good. Okay, so this one looks good. I know it's not silver, but it does have that kind of old look to it. Ooh, I thought it was going to be a 40s coin. It's a 58. A little bit dirty, a little bit nicked up, a little bit slick, but still a 58.
I flipped this one over thinking it might have been a, a 64 because they all look like 64s. You know, when you're looking at the back and you see that D mint mark and uh, it's in okay condition, but it's not, you know, new looking. So I flipped this one over thinking it was just going to be another 64, but it's a 59. That's awesome. All right. 50s are kicking butt. I also found this 68 uh, S a minute ago, and it looked so silvery. I was like, oh my god. But uh, just a 68 S. Kind of cool. And uh, back to the hunt. I was just, mm, you know, stretching them out like I do. And I found something looking back at me. Oh yeah, another from the 50s. 57. D. Alright, 50s are in the lead by a mile. Got one from the 40s, one from the 30s. I'll bring it back when I find something else. We are at the halfway point. This is roll 25 and I think I see something old looking back at me. Oh, yeah. Nice. That is a 1938. First year of the Jeffersons. It's not bad. I mean, it's a little nicked up, but not too bad. 1938D. Nice. That's awesome. Two pre-40s. Fantastic. I'll bring you back when I find something good. Something else that's good. Same roll. Got a 57. D. Wow, the 50s are killing it today. Usually the, it's like 40s and 50s, like, you know, they run neck and neck. I'll get like, you know, three or four forties and then four or five fifties and then three or four more forties and then, you know, a couple from the fifties. So they run kind of like neck and neck, but we've only got one from the forties. So we'll see what happens. Same roll. Found a hold coin. I've never found a hold nickel, I don't think. That's pretty neat. I like that. I think I'll keep that. I put it with my toners. My, this is the gold toner that I got. Or I should say like yellow coppery toner. 07. And this one's actually a gold toner. It's a, a, You can really see it. That's a gold toner. It's very nice. 2019. I don't know how a brand new coin, well, a one year old coin got so toned. But hey, on with the hunt. You guys are not going to believe this. I just pulled this out. <clears throat> And spread it out and look at what the ender is <laughs> I didn't even look <laughs> how does that even happen <laughs> it's a 2017 this is in pretty good shape but still <laughs> I'll put it in my penny bucket <laughs> how does that even happen and then there's a copper tone look at that a copper tone I had another copper tone I thought it was a foreign. It was in my uh, last nickel hunt. I thought it was a foreign, but it turned out to just be a copper-toned older nickel. Not even that old. 84. And I kept that one. And I'm going to add this to that copper tone collection. Wow. Something's going on here. I don't know. 2004. Very copper tone. Pretty cool. I'll put it with my other toners. Got a couple of neat ones in here too. A couple of interesting edges. I say edges, but I'm not really looking at the edges right now. I'm looking at kind of like the face. Let's see what this is. 83. 90. All the good coins I've gotten today... 
didn't have a nasty edge or a you know a dark edge or a toned edge or a, you know anything like that. They just had regular looking edges. So the hunt continues. I'll bring you back in a minute. Okay, we got another one. This video's getting long. Gonna have to start just telling you about them afterwards. Fifty-seven. D. Okay, this isn't the oldest one that we've gotten, but it is an oldie. 1941. Philadelphia. No? Yeah, Philadelphia. Cool. Alright. So we're tied for the 30s and 40s, and we got a bunch of 50s. The very next coin was a 51. Another one bites the dust. Yep, that's a penny in there. At least it's an older one. Well, 93. All right. Here we have another one. Nineteen forty P. That's three from the forties. Well, we were tied with the thirties and forties for a little while. These are all the fifties right here. Wow. And I'm not showing all of them, but uh yeah, I'll bring it back when I find something else. Alrighty guys, I made it through the last roll. It is about I think it's like I don't know, close to two AM. I really need to get to bed soon, and I know this video is getting long, but um, I want to give you a little bit of a recap. We have a 38 and a 39. We have 6 from the 40s. We have 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 15 from the 50s. We have 109. We have 184. Why did I keep this one? I can't remember why. Oh, there's a kind of like a die cut. I don't know if you guys will be able to see it, but it's worn. But it's at like the north, northeast side of Jefferson's head. And it's circulated, but you can see that it's like there's extra metal right here. Maybe uh, in the future I'll be able to show you guys that a little bit further. Um, also, we had this really, really big die cut, and this one's not hard to miss. Not easy to miss. Not hard to miss? I don't know. This one is hard to miss. That's what I'm trying to say. I'm getting tired. And then we had some, uh, interesting things. I don't know what's up with this one. I don't know. I can't tell if it's like a pocket coin and it's all worn out, or if it came from the mint that way. I don't know if this is a mint error or if this was done to the coin. I can't really tell. So, I don't know. Maybe you guys can let me know what you think. And then we had that copper tone. And the hold nickel. The gold tone, or like goldish copper, I guess. Goldish, yellowish. And then our actual gold toner. Pretty nice. Cool to see all those different colors. Then we got uh, a stack of 70s, 69s, 169s, and 168s. Then we got a couple of just really, really shiny and nice uh, 88, 70, and 60. I, think I just thought those were really in outstanding shape. There's no steps on it. Well, there's a few steps on on all of them, but it's not full steps on all of them. But they are really pretty. Not bad for being, let's see, this one is 1960, so it is 60 years old. This one's 70, so it's 50 years old. This one's 88, so it's 5 years younger than me. So it is 31 years old. They all look just about from the same year. Pretty cool. Also, this was uh, something I found at work today. It was a 2000P Sacagawea. I like those. Those are neat. 
And somebody, like, just left this on a counter. It's a 2009 U.S. Virgin Islands. Philadelphia. Not bad. And that's it. I think I need to wrap it up now. But thanks for coming along with me. And thanks for watching. And please like, share, and subscribe. And uh, we really appreciate it. I really appreciate it. There's nobody else here. Except Luna. Hi, Luna. What are you doing? You sleeping? Say goodnight to everybody. <laughs> Good night, y'all. I'll talk at you later.